Hey, what's going on guys? Jolts here, back with another legendary item guide, and today we're going to be going over the Fate Breaker. Now, before we jump into it, I just want to say we are taking on the final boss, so if you are against spoilers, go ahead and click off the video now. I'll give you a few seconds. Alright, that should be long enough, so what we're going to do is come to the pyramid at the final steps, uh, run forward, and then hit the catapult to get up here, and we're going to run our way to the final map, which is called the Crest of Fate. Keep in mind there's enough fast travel to the final map, so you have to run there on foot. We made our way to the final map, uh, the Crest of Fate, so anyways, the boss who is going to drop this item is going to be Dragonlord, and this guy is a pretty long and pretty tough boss fight, and even if you have a really good build, each farm will take 1-2 to two minutes on average. Anyways, I got the drop earlier, so I will go ahead and play it now, and we'll talk about the item. On the item card, we have ourselves the Fate Breaker, and keep in mind the prefix and suffix of the one you have will change depending on the one you roll. This will be a Valora Sword that comes in all the elements. And for the red text we have, you've made a huge mistake. This is a quote from the TV show Arrested Development, and in the show, one of the main characters known as G.O.B. says, I've made a huge mistake. The actor in the show who plays G.O.B. is known as Will Arnett, and he is also the voice actor for the Dragon Lord. At the bottom we have the special effect. Melee attacks create three lightning projectiles that restore ward equal to 100% of damage dealt. Alright, so what does a weapon do? Well, when you swing it, like it says, it will send out flying birds. And these birds do not home in and also will not hurt you, so that's kind of a good thing. Uh, also, they will always be shock element too. And like it says on the card, the damage you do with the birds will also restore your ward. So if I swing it a few times, I can get back to full. Also, this is a Valora, so it does swing really, really slow because it is a two-handed weapon. And also because it's Valora, you cannot do a dashing strike into the enemy. Alright, so we're on Chaos 20, and I don't have a full melee build put together, but I'm going to be doing a typical Stabomancer build. And I'm going to say right now, this weapon is not bad at all. With it being a Valora, it does hit pretty hard, and the ward healing effect from the birds is going to keep you alive. Now, I probably already put a warning on the screen, but this weapon is pretty flashy, so if you are, you know, epileptic or anything like that, then this weapon is probably not going to be the best idea for you. One thing I do want to note is the birds don't hit that hard, but, you know, again, they're healing your shield. Uh, most of the damage is going to come from the initial melee hit itself. Also, because it does have that bird special effect, I think that's the reason why it has lower base damage. Um, a typical purple Valora at this level would have had a lot more damage than this. Anyways, I think that's going to be it for the item guide today, so let me know below in the comments what you think about the Fate Breaker. Personally, I don't think it's all that bad of a choice for mobbing, but for bossing, I do feel like there's going to be a lot of other better melee weapons out there, but nonetheless, it's still a pretty good choice. Also, there are some pretty good synergies with it too for having a full shield. It will allow you to get full shield bonuses like Amp or Brimming, and also there are rings that give you a bonus for having a full shield. And yeah, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like because that'd be awesome. And if you really enjoyed it and want to see more Wonderlands content, then be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.